The risk of TMAO and the link to heart disease is back in the news. Is this something we need to pay attention to? I'm Dr. Brett Schur, the medical director at dietdoctor.com. And I recently wrote a post at dietdoctor.com about this article um, published in Journal of American College of Cardiology that looked at um, 760 healthy uh, volunteers, all women, following them from 1989 for 10 years. And they measured a TMAO level at the beginning and then 10 years later. And then they followed them to see who had heart attacks, who lived and died, or actually who had heart attacks. It was not a mortality study. It was a heart attack, cardiac event study. And what they found was the women who had a high level of TMAO at baseline and it rose over time, they had the higher risk of heart attacks. So based on this, you could say, okay, maybe TMA, TMAO is a meaningful um, risk marker to follow. Well, we also covered another similar TMAO study at the end of 2018. And the problem is, is it an independent risk marker or is it a sign of other unhealthy behaviors and other things going on? Now, people like to link it to eating red meat, but even that in and of itself doesn't respond the same to all quote unquote, red meat eaters. Now, what you find in this study, what was so interesting for those who had the highest, um, the highest quartile, I think it was the, the, the highest quartile of TMAO and who had heart disease compared to those who didn't, those who did 32% had hypertension versus 19%. 7.9% had diabetes versus 1.3%, and 4.5% were current smokers versus 1.8%. So it was clearly not just eating meat and having TMAO. There were other comorbid conditions, which is the problem with these observational epidemiological studies. They cannot prove it was one thing. So even if the TMAO was somehow related, was it just sort of an innocent bystander that went along with other unhealthy behaviors, or did it have a direct mechanism? This study certainly does not prove it had any sort of direct link or direct mechanism. What I prefer to use is rather than saying, well, since TMAO goes up with red meat, red meat must be dangerous. Why don't we just look at the evidence about on red meat? There is so much evidence out there saying, does red meat increase your risk of heart disease or death? And the quality evidence is pretty conclusive that the answer is it is not significant. We posted the um, uh, articles about the Annals of Internal Medicine papers using the grade criteria to evaluate red meat. Um, we, it seems like every month there's a new article coming out that tries to suggest red meat has an increased risk of heart disease. But once you look at the science, there's no credible evidence to suggest that. So rather than using intermediaries like TMAO that seem to be related to other conditions, I'd rather go back to the evidence itself. And here's the other point, eating red meat in a burger with fries and a soda is much different than eating a whole foods diet that includes red meat and plenty of above ground vegetables and low processed foods. That's what we need to be studying because that's what most of us should be eating anyway. Anyway, so that's my take on it. Another TMAO study, more noise than uh, substance. Thanks. Hit subscribe down below so you'll um, get all of our Diet Doctor YouTube updates and go to dietdoctor.com to see the full post on our new section. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.